All right, guys, so I'm going to be showing you how to install Magic Lantern onto your T3i or T2i. Now, uh, most all these steps are going to be the same on a PC or Mac. So um, I'm using a T2i to shoot this video, and I'm going to be using a T3i to install Magic Lantern on. Now, this is a, pretty much the same exact process. If you have a T2i, you're going to do it the same exact way. So the first thing you need to do is you need to format your card. So what we're going to do is we're going to put... Um, if you notice, there's a dial up here at the top of your T3i or T2i, and you want to put it in the M mode, which is the manual mode. Next, we're going to turn it on. All right, now we're going to hit menu. Now, once we hit menu, we're going to go all the way over to the second wrench, or first wrench, I mean. Now, we're going to hit format. Now, what we want to make sure is that we're using the low level format. So, to turn the low level on and off, you're just going to hit the delete button. So we're going to make sure we're using the low level, and we're going to click OK. So what this is going to do is going to format your card in a low level, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the computer, and we're going to download the proper firmware. If you don't have the right firmware on your camera, which you, which you will need for the T2i, you'll need the 1.0.9 firmware. And on the T, uh, T3i, you'll need the 1.0.1 firmware to get Magic Lantern to work. And to see what firmware you have, if you just want to pop over to the third wrench, as you can see here, this is firmware 1.0.1 on the T3i. Now, if you have 1.0.2, it's not going to work. Now, the nice thing, what I've decided to do this time for this video is everything's going to be in my description bar, Mac and PC firmwares for the T2i and the T3i. Um, I actually don't know what, uh, what you'll need for like the 60D, but pretty much this process is pretty much the same for the 60D. So if you have a 60D, you can use this Magic Lantern install and, uh, and be able to install Magic Lantern onto your camera. So now what we're going to do is we're going to hop over to the computer and throw the proper firmware on there. All right, guys, so I'm putting my SD card into the computer. Uh, you will need to use an SD card reader for this. You cannot plug your camera in there. It will not work. So the I've already downloaded the T3i uh, 1.0.1 firmware. So we're just going to double click it and bring it over here. You are going to have to unzip it. So here it is. Um, it's actually really easy. All you got to do is go to my computer, click on your SD card and you're just going to drag and drop this .fir file right on into the SD card. All right, once that is done, we're going to head back to the camera. Okay, guys, I've already put the card into the SD card into the camera. So again, you want to make sure you're in the manual mode, which is the M mode on your dial up here at the top. Now we're going to hit menu and we are going to scroll all the way over to the third wrench, the yellow one firmware and what we're going to do is we're going to do current update. Um, remember you put your .fir um, file onto the SD card. That file uh, pretty much is the installer um, that Canon reads. So what it's doing is it's going to install the 1.0.1 update. Here it is. So yes we want to do it. Now you probably want to make sure you have a full battery. Um, this is going to run through your battery a little bit faster than anything else you really do with your camera. So it's going to update now. It's going to take a takes them a little bit of time. As you guys can see, I'm not going to speed it up so you guys can actually see how long it takes. Maybe about 30 seconds, well, maybe 20. Uh, yep, we want to go on and update that. Okay, so once you've done that, once you have the proper firmware to uh, work with ML, um, now we're going to put the Magic Lantern firmware onto your camera. So, let's head back to the computer. And uh, let me show you how to add Magic Lantern onto your SD card and install it onto your T3i or T2i. All right, guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my SD card, get rid of this. So we're going to go on and delete that. Yes. Um, we'll leave that open. Now we're going to go into the internet. And there she blows. Google. All right, we're going to type in Magic Lantern. Okay, here it is. We're going to click on that, the first one at the top, and you type in Magic Lantern. Here's the Magic Lantern website. Now, we're going to be using the Unified, um, and that works with the T2i, 60D, T3i, the original 50D, and the 500D, which I believe is the T1i. So, um, we're going to click on the Unified. 
Um, this is going to be the newest one. It came out the so released the 22nd of December, so we really haven't had a release uh, so far this year. Um, but this this release has been great, so we're going to go on and click on it. All right, now we're going to click download. All right, we're going to save it. We will throw it on my desktop. All right. So once that has done that, we're going to go to the desktop. We'll leave this open. And let's see here. There it is. All right. So you're going to have close. You're going to have all these files right here. What I do is I highlight them all, every single file. And you really don't need these .frrs. Um, <laughs> technically, these are the different. Again, if you remember, it was a .frr that you installed the firmware with. Um, so these are all the .frrs that you're going to need for your camera, uh, depending on what kind of camera it is. So we're doing it on the 600D or T3i, so I would really just need to keep this one. But you does not matter if you have them all on there. It's only going to install the one that it needs. So we will drag and drop everything on to the SD card. So it's 10 megabytes. Um, it's a little bit bigger than it used to be, but there's a lot of stuff packed into it now. So once you've done this, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to eject the card. So we're going to go back to uh, where is my computer at? Uh, well, there we go. Let's go back here and properly eject the card. And then we're going to head back to the camera and finalize our installation. All right, guys. So let's put the SD card in. And remember, Magic Lantern is just on your SD card. It's not physically on your camera. So you delete the SD card or format the SD card. Bye-bye, Magic Lantern. Now, formatting the SD card once you have Magic Lantern on it um, through the camera is not going to work. You're actually going to have to format it with your actual computer because Magic Lantern has set up a system on the format so it doesn't delete it every time you format, which is fantastic. So again, menu. We're going to go all the way down to the third wrench. As you guys can see there, we're going to click firmware. We're going to do OK. Now it's going to go in and find Magic Lantern. There you go. It's really simple. You just click OK with the firmware. And it's going to give you a little, you know, boot disk flag enabled, success. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to turn the camera off. Turn the camera on. Hit the delete button. There you go, Magic Lantern. Now, if you notice, you when you first install it, you don't have that many options, right? A lot of people ask me about this. Um, so, no options. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the very final one where it says Help up here at the top. It says Press Menu. So, let's go on and press Menu. And then you have all your hidden options. Um, so, then, wow, look at all these extra options we have. Lots of extra ones. And if you just want the basic options, hit menu again. And now you got your basic options. But I prefer to have all of the options. Uh, again, we still don't have a, as far as T3i is concerned, there still is not um, any audio uh, setup like there is with the T2i. So you can't go in and turn off your, uh, your audio gain and stuff like that, which kind of stinks. So the T3i still has that little bit of static key. Still a little bit staticky um, when you shoot with it, so that is one of the nice things about the T2i is that you can turn off your your gain and therefore it's not as staticky and the uh, quality, as you can hear me, is the sound quality is much better. So, anyways, that is how you install Magic Lantern on the T2i or T3i. Again, all the links you're going to need down below. Um, I'll have a link to the Magic Lantern. I'll have the link to Mac and PC version uh, for the T3i. So if you do need to downgrade, downgrading is exactly what we did for the very first step uh, with the firmware. So what you do is you just, you just uh, download the firmware, put it onto your SD card, and then overwrite the, the, the firmware. So if you're going to do it with the T3i, it would be the 1.0.2 firmware. Say so you have that. You can't put Magic Lantern on your camera. Download the 1.0.1. Uh, and install it, go to put your camera in M mode, hit menu, scroll over to the third wrench, third yellow wrench, and just install it on top of the 1.0.2. Therefore, you have downgraded it, and then you can go through the whole entire process of installing Magic Lantern, why, why, how I showed you here. 
So hopefully this guys, hopefully this helps you out. Um, I do try to do Magic Lantern install videos every six months or something, because um, every six months I get a little bit better at shooting. Um, and uh, just for people that don't want to watch a video that's six months old, I just try to update it. So everybody that already has Magic Lantern that's already seen the install, uh, sorry if I wasted your time today. But for people out there, uh, feel free to leave comments, messages. I will do my best to answer them. You guys have a wonderful day, and I will catch you next time.